Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over Stream Transformer. So Transformer is basically just a way of transforming your stream into a different type of stream. Okay, there's some built in transformers. There's map, where, expand and take and we'll talk about that in just a second. For example, if you get a stream, let's just we've used this example before, like music. So if you get music that's being streamed and so you hear something, you might want to transform that stream into something else. All right. So I don't know um, when you transform it, maybe you want to transform a higher volume okay or a lower volume or maybe you want to take out some of the frequencies so it's less bass or something like that so maybe if you send a stream and you change it you want to do that now there's several ways of doing that right so once you receive the stream you can make some changes or what you make the changes before you send the stream out and then you send out a new stream with those changes to the stream okay i guess there's advantages and disadvantages of both but this is a big Thing that I see all the time, the documentation's not great, okay? So I'm going to get stuck here, and I'll show you where I'm stuck in just a little bit. But I think I have the basics down enough that if I see streams and transformer in the future, that I'll be able to figure it out just by looking at it, okay? So let's go over this. Let's just create a stream, okay? List, my list is just a list here. And then I'm going to get the stream, first stream, stream dot from iterable, and I'll send this stream out, okay? I think we know about that. I think I've gone through that in the previous video. Um, did I go through that in the previous video? I think I did. So first stream dot from iterable, and you just get this list, and then you send out the stream right through there. Okay. Then, and so it'll send out one, two, three, four, and just send it out in, in a form of a stream. Now we'll have um, a stream change stream, and we'll go over the map first. Okay. What's a map? Basically, when it gets it gets all of the values here, and as it gets the values, it changes it into something else. What is that something else? M dot map, and it changes to something right here. You could put anything right here. If you're going to put a, this would be a string, string right here, but I'd put dynamic just so that it could be E plus 4, okay? And if I run that, it'll be 5, 6, 7. So, right, it'll be 1 plus 4, 2 plus 4, and it'll list it out. It could be... True. So you could do, and it could be text again. So you can do anything. What you're just basically doing is you're just getting the stream, sending it through here, transforming it into a new stream. Oh, by the way, what am I doing here? I'm doing change stream dot for each, and for every thing piece of data that comes through as the stream, it's going to print it on out, okay? So what we're doing is we're printing this on out and every single time all of the values are coming in through high because we're using change stream right here and not first stream. If we put first stream, it would list one, two, three, four, five, right? So if I just put E here, of course, it would just be one, two, three, four, five. Right there, right? Okay, so I hope that one was clear. The next one will be where? Where this is going to be actually a more of a bool right inside of here. So it's going to go, it gets the stream, and as it comes through, it transforms it itself and changes it to if it has a certain value. Here I'll say E is less than 2. Let's just make it less than 4. If it's less than 4, it passes through. If it's not less than 4, it doesn't pass. Well, sorry. It, then it doesn't pass through. Okay? So it's a, basically it's a bool we have right inside of here that lets us know if it's false, it stops it. If it's true, it sends it through. So this should be 1, 2, 3. Right? And if I put here false, then it sh nothing should come through. And if I put true, so you just put some type of thing inside of here that, that looks for a bool and whatever you got inside of here, then it passes through. So it's kind of like a filter. All right. So where is the filter there? Expand. Expand is you get the stream and you exp you do some more stuff to the stream. For each value of this stream, for each data that comes through, you could do something else. So baseline, we'll just say E. And you notice the brackets. And I'll just be one, two, three, four, five. But you could put more into it with the expand. Um, 
one and then say true. Oh, you, that has to be dynamic though then, okay. I don't know why you would ever do this. This is just an example, okay? So dynamic true. So it'll be one true, two true, three true, right? So you could put that in there. You could put um, three high. You can change the E times 33. So you can do all of those things. And so what it does is it gets the E. You can even take this out altogether. It takes the E, which is each data point in the stream, and then it adds onto it. So it's not only the stream is not only sending out the one, two, three, four, five, it's sending out the one, three, high, E times 33, and sending all that out. So that's what this change stream actually does with expand, okay? So it literally expands it by adding more data to it, all right? Finally, we have take. So take basically says, which, how much data do you do before you stop? Okay, so if take is going to be three, it's going to be the first three values. It's going to print out from change stream the first three values. If it's going to be eight, it's going to be the first eight values. But since there's only five, it's going to stop at five, right? So that's kind of one of those things that um, if the stream, if you know uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the stream and you want to end it after a certain amount, take is what that actually is. So these names, where, expand, take, take, I'm not sure exactly where that comes from, but it's, so it's not intuitive necessarily, but that's what that actually means. Now, this is actually finally transform. This is the same idea. All right. So all of these things, the concept was we get a stream, we transform it, and we send it out as a new stream. So there is still the stream, first stream, but because we're not using it right now, we're, we're changing it into a different stream and then we're looking at the changed one, right? The original one still remains. Transform is the same thing, only it gives you a lot more options. So maybe you want to do something other than something like this. And so what change, I'm sorry, transform would be change stream, first stream dot transform. Where I'm stuck is what do I put inside of here? What is this argument itself? There is no list of potential arguments. I, I wish that there was like a, some documentation that says, here's a list of like, the top 50 things that you would probably want to do. I can't find that anywhere. If anybody finds that anywhere on the internet, can you leave me a link? That would really be great. But it's how do you actually transform this in and of itself? And you basically put some type of parameter right inside here, some type of argument that it will transform what the stream is to this new thing, okay? So that's the same thing right inside here. Get a stream which is the transform stream of the original. That's the same concept. So you may have some method inside of here, some class, some something's going, some function inside of here um, to tell you what to transform it to. I don't have enough experience to say what that actually is, but now that I have at least the concept, whenever I see that, with, when there's some word inside of here, I'll be able to look up what are they actually doing with it because it's some type of transformation to the stream itself. All right, so I hope that was helpful. It's not very complete. Hopefully, we'll go over more examples in the future, but this kind of seems like a case-by-case -case kind of basis. You look it up and say, oh, I couldn't I didn't, couldn't figure that one. I didn't even know you could do something like that. And then you look it up, and then you keep it in your memory because it's not documented anywhere. You keep it in your memory, and then you keep moving on in terms of what you can do with the transform because it seems to be utilized quite a bit. All right, so that's transformer for us. And... Let's keep going from there. Or oh, I think transform or transformer. I think it's transform. Okay, thanks. Bye.